Dear student, in the previous class we have learnt about theorem 4.2. In this class we are going to solve the problems on exercise 4.2. In question number 1, 2, 3, choose the correct answer and give justification. Now, take the first problem. From a point Q, the length of the tangent to a circle is 24 cm and the distance of Q from the center is 25 cm. The radius of the circle is given the four options. Option A, 7 cm. Option B, 12 cm. Option C, 15 cm. And Option D, 24.5 cm. Now, first to find the answer. See here, first taking solution. See, first see the figure. Here, O is the center of the circle, Q is the external point. The length of the tangent PQ is equal to 24 cm and OQ is equal to 25 cm. Then the radius of the circle OP is dash. Okay. First see here. The length of the tangent PQ is equal to 24 cm and the distance from center to the external point Q is OQ equal to 25 cm and the radius OP equal to question mark. Okay. Now, see here, in the given figure, OP is the radius and PQ is the tangent. So, OP perpendicular to PQ. By the theorem 4.1, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So, OP perpendicular to PQ, that implies angle OPQ equal to 90 degree. Okay. See here, <coughs> the triangle OPQ is one of the right angle triangle. So, in the right angle triangle, square of the hypotenuse equal to sum of the square of the other two sides. Here, angle at OP cube equal to 90 degree, so OQ with the hypotenuse. So, by the Pythagoras theorem, OP square plus PQ square equal to OQ square. Now, substitute the known values. OP is the radius, so taking at the same plus PQ 24, so 24 whole square equal to OQ is 25, so 25 whole square. Now OP square plus 24 whole square equal to 576 equal to 25 whole square equal to 625. Now, 576 is transposed to RHS, then we get OP square equal to 625 minus 576. OP square equal to 550 minus 6 equal to 9, then 11 minus 7 equal to 4. 5 minus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, OP equal to square root of 49. That implies OP equal to square root of 49 is 7. That means OP equal to 7 cm. So, the radius of the circle is OP equal to 7 cm. So, the option A 7 cm is the right answer. Now, take a second problem. In the figure, if TP and TQ are the two tangent to a circle with the center O, so that angle POQ equal to 110 degree, then angle PTQ is equal to given the four options. Option A 60 degree, option B 70 degree, option C 80 degree and option D 90 degree. Now, first to find the correct answer, now taking the solution. 
see the given figure in the given figure o is the center of the circle tp and tq are the two tangent from the external point t and angle poq equal to 110 degree okay see here first give the angle poq equal to 110 degree okay now tp and tq are the two tangent op and oq are the ready by the theorem 4.1 op perpendicular to tp and oq also perpendicular to tq so angle opt equal to 90 degree also angle oqt also 90 degree so see here the radius op perpendicular to pt and the radius oq perpendicular to qt that implies if op perpendicular to pt then angle opt equal to 90 degree similarly oq perpendicular to qt then angle oqt equal to 90 degree see here angle opt equal to angle oqt that is also equal to 90 degree so angle opt equal to angle oqt but remember here we know that in any quadrilateral the sum of the internal angle is 360 degree so in the quadrilateral OPTQ, angle POQ plus angle OPT plus angle PTQ plus angle OQT equal to 360 degree. Now, take here. In the quadrilateral OPTQ, angle POQ plus angle OPT plus angle OQT plus angle PTQ equal to 360 degree. Now, substitute the known values angle POQ equal to 110 degree plus angle OPT equal to 90 degree plus angle OQT also 90 degree plus angle PTQ equal to 360 degree. See here 110 degree plus 90 degree equal to 200 plus 90 equal to 290 degree plus angle PTQ equal to 360 degree. Now, transpose 290 degree to RHS, then we get angle PTQ equal to 360 degree minus 290 degree therefore angle PTQ equal to 0 minus 0 0 16 minus 9 7 2 minus 2 0 therefore angle PTQ equal to 70 degree so the option B 70 degree the right answer. Now, we are taking the third problem. If tangent P A and P B from a point P to a circle with the center O are inclined to each other at an angle of 80 degree, then angle P O A is equal to dash. Given the four options, option A 50 degree, option B 60 degree, option C 70 degree and option D 80 degree. See here, first taking the figure, here O is the center of the circle, P is the external point and P 
P A and P B are the two tangent from the external point P to the circle. So, angle A P B is called inclined angle. See here, taking solution, the inclined angle A P B will do 80 degree. It is given. Okay. See here, in the figure OAPB is one of the quadrilateral. Here, OA is the radius and PA is the tangent. So, angle OAP will do 90 degree. Similarly, OB is the radius and PB is the tangent. So, angle OBP will do 90 degree. So, take here. In the given figure, OA perpendicular to PA and OB perpendicular to PB. That implies by the theorem 4.1 angle OAP equal to angle O. P, P equal to 90. Now, see here, OAPB is one of the quadrilateral. By the angle sum property, the sum of the internal angle of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. So, in the quadrilateral, OAPB the angle APB plus angle OAP plus angle OBP plus angle AOB will do 360 degree. Now, Substitute the known values. Angle ABB is 80 degree plus angle OAP is 90 degree plus angle OBP also 90 degree plus angle AOB will do 360 degree. Now, 90 degree plus 90 degree equal to 180 degree, 180 degree plus 80 degree equal to 260 degree. So, 260 degree plus angle AOP equal to 360 degree. Now, transpose 260 degree to RHS, then we get angle AOP equal to 360 degree minus 260 degree therefore angle AOB equal to 0 minus 0 0 6 minus 6 0 3 minus 2 1 100 degree now see here angle AOB equal to 100 degree First, we need to find angle POE. See here, there are, when we join OP, it gives the two right angle triangle, that is, angle O, sorry, triangle OAP, yet another one, right angle triangle OBP. When we consider both the right angle triangles, see here, OA and OB are the radii of the same circle, so OA equal to Similarly, angle OAP equal to angle OBP because both are right angles. Then, OP is common for both the triangles. So, OP equal to OP. Then, the triangle OAP congruent to triangle OBP. Now, consider in the right angle triangle OAP. P and 
ट्रायंगल ओ बी पी एंगल ओ ए पी बेटो एंगल ओ बी पी बिकॉज ईच एंगल इज 90 डिग्री नाउ वी नो दैट OP is the hypotenuse for both the triangles so OP will do OP because that is common for both the triangle see here in the triangle OAP OA is the side and triangle OBP OB is the side but OA equal to OB because both are the radii of the same circle so OA will do OB because radii of the same circle. Therefore, by the RHS congruent rule, both the triangles are congruent. Triangle OAP congruent to triangle OBP by right angle. I put the new set side congruent that implies by the CPCT angle POA equal to angle POB region corresponding part of the congruent triangles. Okay. Now In both the triangle angle POA equal to angle POB, but when we add in angle POA in angle POB, that gives angle AOB because POA and POB are the part of the angle AOB. So angle POA can be written as half of the angle AOB because half of the angle AOB equal to POA similarly half of the angle AOB equal to POB also because both are equal now substitute angle AOB angle POA equal to half into 100 degree to once 2 into 50 Therefore, angle POA equal to 50 degree. See here, in the given four options, option A 50 degree is the right answer. Thank you.